Welcome back to the Michael Brooks Show. I'm very excited now because joining us is an elder statesman of the Bernie Bro movement. He's the host of the fantastic podcast, The David Feldman Show, which features uh, any number of guests from uh, congressional chiefs of staff to Jackie the Joke Man Martling. He's also a brilliant stand-up comedian. He's written for a lot of people, including my favorite Triumph the Insult comic dog, David Feldman, welcome to the show. It's great to be with my people, Bernie people. Great. Bernie. Thank you for having me on. It's fantastic. Well, love, let me just start. Love some. the show. I love your show. It takes up so much space in my phone. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Literally, because it's long. They're six hour shows, but, you know, <laughs> if you invest six hours into my show, I guarantee you, you will find. Three minutes of gold. <laughs> David Feldman. We have a motto. We have a motto on my show. There must be a pony here somewhere. <laughs> Why? Look, obviously, you're a man of the extreme left. Hard left. <laughs> you Hard have left. complained as an example that on TMBS, I'm too easy on Israel. Yes that I don't yes. call out Israeli apartheid strongly enough as an example. Exactly. That exactly. I might be occasionally giving in to Western press narratives when I even acknowledge that Maduro might have made a mistake. Yes. That's your politics. Why is it that you're supporting Bernie Sanders? Why am I supporting Bernie Sanders? Well, or who are you? Because I love Bernie. Well, I'm an old school lefty. You know that about me. Yes. I'm an old I'm an old lefty from way back. I believe in everything Bernie believes in. Every single thing Bernie wants, I want. Right. But the question I want to ask you and your your listeners is how do we get there? How do we get there? Wait so a second. So I'm keeping an open mind. I'm keeping an open mind. I love Bernie, but I'm keeping an open mind. Well, wait, I, wait know, a second. I, I, wait, now I'm confused. But how do we get there? How do we get there? Well, I, now I'm confused, That's, David. I thought that you were, we're having you on to endorse Bernie Sanders as an elder statesman of the Bernie bro movement. What do you, I mean, you get there through electing him in a mass multiracial working class coalition. Yeah, but can he win? That That's the thing. Can he win? That, you know, I want everything he wants. You know that about me because I'm an old lefty from way back. But can he win? That's my question. How do we get there? So, I, you know, I think we have to have an open mind. This is part of the, the political process and watch the debates and listen. You know, Elizabeth Warren, I have to say, I have to say, you know, I have to say. Well, to to paraphrase very interesting. to paraphrase Joe Pesci on the 1990s SNL sketch, the Joe Pesci show. No, I don't know. Uh, Bernie Sanders leads Donald Trump. In fact, he polls better. There was just a poll that came out in Iowa that Donald Trump is in a statistical tie with Warren and Biden, but Bernie leads him by ten points. So surely well, then you could calm down and realize that Bernie can win. I hope you're right, but I think Elizabeth Warren, I, you know, I like, I like Elizabeth Warren. There's something about Bernie. I, you know, I can't put my finger on what I, I love Bernie. I, I do, you know, but there's something about him. I don't know what it is. You know, like, you know, he's, he's a Senator from Vermont. Right. Patrick Leahy is, is the senior Senator from Vermont. Right. Right. And, and and Bernie's a junior senator from Vermont. And wait, I, I don't know. Oh, I, wait. I don't, Did you just say he was what? the Jew, your senator from Vermont? Did you just he's say that, Jew, David Feldman? No, no, I said he's the junior senator from Vermont. Patrick Leahy is the senior senator. I have nothing against junior senators from Vermont. Some of my, you know, I some of my best friends when I'm in Washington, D.C. are junior senators from Vermont. I just don't think America is ready 
for a big, loudmouth junior senator from Vermont sitting in the Oval <laughs> Office. I, I, you know, I can't put my finger on it. Whoa, I, you know, whoa, I love wait a him. second. Whoa, wait, wait. I love it. Wait, whoa, wait. You know that I love so Bernie. you were saying what? that Jew, your senators from Vermont, are known for being loudmouths? Bernie's a loudmouth Jew. <laughs> Your senator from Vermont. That's all I'm saying. All you're saying. So, you know, wait, maybe, I'm still. That's I'm all really, I'm saying. I'm very confused as to how you're pronouncing the word "junior" with like five e's or ten e's. What's going on here, Feldman? I I, I don't look. I don't. Uh, I don't understand what you're talking about. What I'm saying is, listen to me. Listen to me about this. People say, how is, you know, Elizabeth Warren any different from Bernie? And I, you know, I read their platforms, Michael. Right. You know, I'm not a flamethrower like you and Jimmy Dore. I sit down <laughs> and go over policy. Wait, I go oh, over so policy. you're, so David, so now you're telling me, okay, so you con your way onto my show with what? a big rigmarole about how you're like, you, you, in your words, I'm like Amy Goodman, except I write dick jokes. <laughs> you come on my show, and now it turns out that you're one of these, oh, I really like Elizabeth Warren's Medium Post people. Is that what you're telling me? No, I just think we should have an open mind going into the general... Eyes wide open. Eyes wide open, Michael Brooks. And I'm a lefty from way back. You know that about me. <laughs> well, if you're a lefty from you know way back, how I do you explain? Bernie. I love Bernie, but how are we going to get there? How do we get there, Michael? How do we get there? Well, I, as That's I said, I would. Well, I mean, the, the real question you have to answer me is how do we get there with the same model of governance that hasn't worked before? Elizabeth Warren doesn't have a mass movement before her behind her she's just saying elizabeth warren, i'm clever I'm say something. michael michael hang on for one second you invited me on this show and i feel this is an ambush quite similar to the way elizabeth ward was treated last week during the debate <laughs> you know i i i was offended it right. reminded me of the way hillary was treated during the debates quite frankly the way mm -hmm. they piled on uh poor elizabeth warren there and i thought you know uh, come on now let's be civil <laughs> So, um, so wait, so asking Elizabeth Warren, well, what, I, I'm confused at this point. Do you even support Medicare for all, David? I do. I do. I'm at all in. I'm all in. And, and let me tell you something. Before this, I have to say, ambush started, I was talking with some people. And one of, one of my friends said, you know, Elizabeth Warren's plan is identical to Bernie's, Right. Well, and, no, and not right, somebody, because, hey, hey. well, well, wait, David. You I read can't. both plans, Mike. I read both plans, Michael. Well, uh, David, you can't lie on my show. She has not released a plan yet. She has this little section of her website, and she has said that she's going to, in fact, release her own plan in a couple of weeks, which is very suspicious because... She had previously said she supported Medicare for all, which of which there already is a plan that Bernie wrote. He wrote the damn bill, David. You told me that yourself a couple of weeks ago. You're a naive. Don't take this the wrong way, but you're a naive fool. OK, <laughs> it's, she has a secret plan, oh. a secret plan. You don't tell the enemy what your plan is for Medicare for all before you implement it. That way they, they prevent it. She has a secret plan. For all we know, she may have already given us Medicare for all, and we don't even know it. So in other words... It's a secret plan, like Nixon's plan to end the war in Vietnam. Donald Trump had a secret plan to get us out of Afghanistan. That's a winning strategy, Michael. That's how you win elections, by having secret plans to solve the issue of our time. <laughs> well, okay. Crazy. All right. So, so of course, if she has a secret plan, obviously the health insurance industry and all of these parasite companies won't fight against it because she's so bureaucratically skilled that it will somehow magically bypass all that resistance. Okay. Fair point, David. Well, how do you explain 
voting for three different Trump military budget increases. I, I, I think you're lying about that. No, you can look it up. And, and first of all, I'll get to that in a second. I don't like you demonizing the healthcare industry. <laughs> I think it's very childish of you to to just you know you have this idea. And believe me, I want everything Bernie wants. Okay, right. <laughs> but you know, healthcare makes up eleven tenths of our economy. I want you to get a pad and pencil and do the math. <laughs> Here, 11 out of every $10 of America's GDP is spent on health care. OK, <laughs> so this is something Richard Wolf Ben Burgess, Harvey K. They're not going to teach you. You don't change 11 tenths of our economy overnight. You've learned about Marxism. You need to learn about the incrementalists. Have you ever studied <laughs> incrementalism? <laughs> this is something that Ben Burgess doesn't teach Harvey K doesn't teach the incrementalists from ancient Greek and the, the uh, incrementalist incrementi. It's a Greek word. <laughs> Wait, roughly. Okay. Trans- well, it's a Greek word. It's tr- roughly translated. It means focus on identity politics. So you get to keep all your money. <laughs> this is what Ben Burgess, he won't teach you that. So wait, 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 David Feldman. Okay, so clearly you've come on the show under false pretenses, and I'm going to kick you off very soon. But you do sound a lot like this is an ambush. This is an ambush. You do sound a lot like Elizabeth Warren because you're saying on one hand you support everything Bernie supports, which is full government health care. I love Bernie. I love Bernie. I'm an old lefty from way back. Way (laughs) back. Way back. So you support Wait, everything. All the way back. You support everything that uh, Bernie supports, but yes, okay. But now it sounds like you think health insurance companies shouldn't be attacked. I think health because they're not evil. You know, as Amy Klobuchar <laughs> said to Elizabeth Warren, uh, just because you have a different plan than I do, that doesn't mean that that I'm evil. <laughs> Let's stop this. Can we just hang on for one second? Stop laughing. Can we stop demonizing the people we disagree with? You know, I watch your show, and anyone who doesn't agree with Michael Brooks is evil. Dave Rubin is evil. Stefan Molyneux is evil. Why? Because you have a plan, and they have a plan, and it's a little different. We all want to get there. I remember what Amy Klobuchar said. We all want to get there. Just because your plan is different than mine, it doesn't mean... I'm abusive towards my staff (laughs) or my daughters hate me or the only reason my dad was an alcoholic is because he had me for a daughter. (laughs) I get it. I get it, Michael Brooks. You want to provide health insurance to every citizen so 50,000 Americans don't die each year because they're underinsured. Okay, that's your plan. (laughs) I support a plan that brings the number of Americans dying from lack of insurance down to just 35,000 a year. (laughs) And that's incrementi. Yeah, my plan is 15,000 fewer Americans dying each year from lack of health insurance. Now, I don't know about you and your friends over there, but where I come from, saving 15,000 people each year from dying is a lot, okay? <laughs> let's, not, let's, not, let's dial back the animosity. Well, let's I thought there was a lot of animosity in how you kept calling Bernie the junior senator from Vermont. I still don't know what that's He's about, not. Feldman. Feldman. He's not the senior, Patrick Leahy is the senior senator from <laughs> And I, I don't demonize the health insurance people. <laughs> They're not evil. Not everybody who disagrees with you is evil, okay? They're good people just trying to support their family by playing out the clock on bone marrow transplants for sick kids. <laughs> That's all they're trying to do. You know, health care industry people have kitchen table issues just like anybody else. Black marble or cream marble. I would go with the cream marble. <laughs> uh, well, David, well, stop, stop yes. demonizing people. Well, you, you've ambushed me on this. I love Bernie. I love him. David, I David, let me just say, David, first of all, I and no, 
no answer on the military budget increases by Elizabeth Warren. You've got nothing on that? I, uh, if you say, I, I, you know what? I have not looked into this, but we need a strong military. <laughs> I think Bernie would agree with me. <laughs> Bernie, I think Bernie's the first one to say, you know, the, the, the role of the government is to protect the citizens and get out of the way. Let the animal spirits and the invisible <laughs> hand of the economy. Uh, uh, so uh, Elizabeth you. Warren is the junior senator from Massachusetts. How would you describe how would you describe her title? I would say she's uh, a senator from Massachusetts. <laughs> She's a senator <laughs> from Massachusetts. <laughs> what? What are you laughing at? David Feldman, I hate you, sir. See, there we go again. You invite me on the show. It's like <laughs> the time I did Tucker Carlson. I hate you. With time I, it's like, this reminds me of the time I did Tucker Carlson, and they caught me stealing a copy of Mein Kampf from the green room and asked for back. <laughs> Everybody finds David Feldman's latent anti-Semitism and apologies for the insurance industry at the David Feldman Show, which is a fantastic <laughs> podcast you can subscribe to. On I iTunes. love doing, I love being an asshole. I just love it. <laughs> I love you, David just, Feldman. David actually is incredibly smart and supports Bernie. David, have an amazing night. Thanks a million. Thank you. I love you. Bye. I love you too. We wanted to give people the alternative perspective. Um, so uh, between that and Ryan Grimm, I think you. you yes, know, the, the I spoke too covered. soon. Between I yeah. said Ryan Grimm and Matt Carp sort of encompassed all of the Warren Bernie. No, I think, have. That, I think we I think, were missing something. Yeah, we were missing we something about Warren's support. <laughs> you just watched a Michael Brooks show video. Subscribe to get them all. Why wouldn't you? Don't be foolish. Click subscribe below and become a patron as well. Patreon.com slash TMBS. Thanks, everybody.